Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about why you can't see yourself as others see you. Why you can't see the beauty, the gifts, the truth. Watch this video. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please click the subscribe button, the bell to receive notifications when I release new videos. And if you've been with me for a while, thank you so much and welcome back. Diving in before we do so, emotional rehab, back by popular demand, starting March 1st, link is in the bio or right here across your screen. This course is coming back because it's everybody's favorite course they've ever taken other than shadow work, which comes after emotional rehab. We're not doing that yet until the end of the year. But emotional rehab is back. So what is this? It's 12 weeks of diving deep. A lot of it we're going to talk about today with the emotional imprint, with emotional mirroring, with toxic relationship dynamics, and really anchoring in a core sense of true self. So if you have any childhood wounds or emotional patterns, please check out the course. In other news, I made another sweatshirt. Go higher, feel the chills, chills trust the truth. You ever notice when you say something and you feel the chills, it's your truth. You can't feel the chills if you're not feeling your feelings, if you can't really see yourself and allow yourself to be yourself. So let's go higher. Let's dive in. So again, thank you so much for being with me. I have been having so much gratitude for my groups lately and my community. You guys are just killing it. All of your amazing comments on my videos and my in my shorts, I try to get back to every single person. So please keep them coming because we love it over here. Okay, let's talk about this. Can you see yourself? What does that even mean? The truth is we're going to see ourselves through the mirror that was projected to us, was held up to us by our parents, authority figures, whoever raised you. Let's say parents for this. If your parents did not heal their tribal wounds, their generational trauma, it's going to be part of that mirror. You're going to maybe have abandonment wounds because your mother was abandoned and she didn't heal that. So now she does these things to you unknowingly or knowingly. You might feel like, I just don't feel I'm beautiful. Why is that? It has a lot to do with your mirror. It has a lot to do with the patterns. It has a lot to do with the emotional imprint that happened before the age of eight. When we take everything in as identity, when we take everything in as an emotional truth, whatever we feel we believe is true. If my mom's upset, it's my responsibility. If my mom's not around, it's because of me. If I'm not getting love, there's nothing wrong with me. These are all the emotional imprints that we do from a young age. And then because we have that imprinted identity, we recreate it because that's our belief about ourselves. It goes so much deeper. When I was younger, I remember thinking, I can't see myself. I would have mirrors around my room so I could like see myself. I couldn't see the equivalent to what I was feeling. When our feelings are gaslit or not allowed or said they're too much, we can't really have an accurate mirror of ourselves, right? It is very much emotionally based. It is very much how we're treated. Oftentimes, we're the kid that's the difficult one, right? I always talk about this or the one that is the lost child, the one that couldn't be who they were because the people in their world didn't allow their power, didn't allow their emotions, didn't allow you to feel your emotional needs met. So you think there's something wrong with your emotions, which means there's something wrong with you. You start to question your perception. I can't see myself. You're dependent on externals to reflect it. And when they're not there, you have what I call the collapse. You can't see the self. You can't feel the self. So what's going on here, right? If we can't see the self like others do, or maybe um, just the way that we want to, just the way that we want to feel connected to ourselves, it's because the mirror that was held up to us had some stuff in it. So this is what I want to talk to you about. When people are healing their inner wounds, when they're healing their mother wound and their father wound, right? Emotional rehab. When we're healing our mother and father wound, we have to understand that the things projected onto us by our parents that were negative were unhealed wounds from their past. They may be in denial of, so you might not get a clear answer of, hey, mom, dad, what happened to your childhood? But this is what you have to see. We have to look at our parents, say, take your mother and notice the negative things that you may hold. 
and also notice their potential, the positive things that you've seen here and there. Notice who they might be without that wounding. You are a product of the truth of who they are, but you've taken on a lot of identity because of the wounds of who they are. You think that who you are might have some shame, but really think about that. Shame says there's something wrong with me. Okay, well, if I tell you that the truth of who you are actually doesn't have any shame involved, there's nothing wrong with you, then you have to look at where you got those messages. You have to look at why do I feel ashamed by this? Look at the person that shamed you, not as the gods that we thought they were as mother and father or teacher or any of those things, right? A lot of our teachers bullied us and shamed us. But really looking at who that person is as a person who had parents, who had a history before you, who has unhealed wounds because they were not born in this emotional intelligence age. They were born into the emotional dark age. They didn't have YouTube. They didn't have, you know, Google, a lot of them. So Here's what we have to realize. I can't see myself because I'm still agreeing with the opinions that were projected onto me. In order to stay connected to a parent, we had to agree with their opinion of us. If we're like, hey, I'm good, and they're like, you're bad, you're not going to survive your household. You have to decide. If mom thinks that there's something wrong with you, oh, I guess there's something wrong with me. So what we do is we integrate that mother into our head and we over criticize ourselves so that when we feel it, it doesn't hurt as bad because we're already busy criticizing ourselves. So our imprint is that I am, my identity, if your parents said you're bad all the time, internally, you're not going to know to consciously upgrade that. So internally, you still don't give yourself credit. You still don't see your shine because it was very scary and threatening to own that. You would have been rejected. Take that in. If I hold a different opinion of myself that isn't agreed upon by my parents who I think is God, it doesn't make any sense. How do I anchor that? You start looking outside yourself for ways to anchor it. I have clients who come to me all the time and saying, gosh, I found myself, but I couldn't keep it because it wasn't anchored. Your finding of yourself in the world was an external positive mirror that was temporary because that positive mirror wasn't where you came from. It didn't get to anchor. So how do we start this work? How do we start to really see the truth of who we are? We have to really unravel all the shame, all the guilt, all the I'm not good enough, I'm afraid to shine, the upper limits issues. If I'm better, if I'm better than this, then my mom will have envy and she'll hate me. A lot of our parents made the positive aspects of us wrong because they were jealous. I hate to say it, but it's true. Oh, you're just so skinny. It's disgusting. Oh, you're just so smart. That's ridiculous. You're smarter than your mother. You know what I'm saying? Sorry about my lighting. We have to go in and say, did I deserve that or is that what happened to me? So often people will think that they are bad, but that's because they were treated badly, not because there was something bad about you. Many people kept that secret because they didn't want anyone to know what they were treated like because that means I'm bad if I'm treated that way. Think about that. No, you're not bad for being treated a certain way. You didn't do something to make someone shame you. We never do anything to make people shame us. People shame us because they don't have a better tool. They don't have a way, better way to cope with their own unhealed wounds. So what they do, if we had unhealed parents, is they... They condition you to not trigger them. So you're walking on eggshells. You're, you're constantly looking at them for cues of how they feel and how you should act to make them feel better. You know what I'm talking about? This is a way we're not going to see who we truly are. That version of you is the version of you you needed to be to survive your toxic situation and surroundings. And now, I had to tell a client yesterday, I said, well, now, honey, you don't live at that house anymore. You're 35. So I know you're afraid to shine around your parents because you won't survive, but you're not around your parents. So we have to work on your fear of shining because it's out of date. And it's, it's really a reflection of the unhealed, upgraded wound in you that we need to do. So you need to understand that these emotional imprints run our life until we upgrade them and heal them. So more on that in emotional rehab. If you're with me, join me March 1st. We're open for enrollment right now. Discount for the next few weeks. So get in. I'm only going to take a, a certain number of people. I'm going to cap it because we have live calls every single week to ask questions. If you can't make the call, don't worry. It's recorded and you can ask on the Facebook wall. It's a private Facebook group separate for the Q&As. The course is 12 weeks jam-packed with videos, with uh, meditations, with EFTs, with all the things. So check it out.
if you have any questions, DM me, message me, all that stuff. Go check out my Instagram because we have daily reels and all this stuff. I love you guys so much. Please share this with one person you think you could heal. And I'll see you soon.